everyone, it's Sarah. I thought maybe you'd want to take another museum coffee break with me today. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about Dr. Everhart. So Dr. Isaiah Everhart was the founder of the Everhart Museum. He founded the museum in 1908. I have this really cool um, old poster. I actually got this at On and On in Scranton, which I highly recommend going there. They have some really cool stuff, but this is the museum long ago. So Dr. Everhart was actually a Civil War medic or a Civil War surgeon, which is so cool to me because one of my absolute passions in life is medical history. So um, our staff member Mike actually wrote a really cool blog post about Dr. Everhart. So I'm going to link it below so you can click that link and look at our blog and check out what Mike has to say about Dr. Everhart. But I thought it might be fun to share a piece of art and then a book that I really love, both having to do with medical history, kind of in honor of Dr. Everhart. So the first thing I want to show you is this really beautiful piece by Thomas Aikens. So this is called the Egg New Clinic. This is from 1889, a little bit after the Civil War, but still kind of within that period. So this was actually commissioned by his students, Dr. Egg New. Um, was retiring in 1889 from the University of Pennsylvania Hospital and his students commissioned this piece. So if you look at it, you can see that um, it is kind of this viewing area, which is how students used to learn about surgery at the time. It's tiny because I have it on a postcard. It's on loan from the University of Pennsylvania at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. But in reality, this piece is absolutely huge. It takes up an entire wall. It's so, so cool. So if you get the chance to ever see this in person in Philadelphia, I highly recommend. So Thomas Aikens, prolific American painter. Um, look it up. It's real cool. I'm running out of time here. So one more thing I wanted to share with you is one of my favorite books about Civil War medicine. So I feel like by reading this book, I learned a lot about Dr. Everhart and what he went through in his life and kind of gives you a, a glimpse into his mind of maybe why he was so passionate about opening a museum in Scranton. So this is called Civil War Medicine. It is by a medical doctor, which I like, Alfred J. Bullitt. So this is actually from the library at the Everhart Museum. I highly recommend this book. It's kind of thick, but there's a lot of really detailed medical illustrations and photographs from the 1800s, which I think are really cool. So that's our kind of museum coffee break minute. Dr. Everhart was a Civil War surgeon. We've got a cool book recommendation, cool art recommendation. Um, I'm gonna link in this uh, in the comments of this video, our staff member Mike's blog post about Dr. Everhart. So if you want to learn more about him and maybe why the museum was founded, I definitely encourage you to click there. Thanks, guys.